folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do March readings for all zodiac signs. Yes, they are general readings, they always will be. Think what applies. If it applies, you know what to do with the rest of it. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the contact information is in the description box below. Uh, if you are new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe uh, button there, the little bell icon. That way you get notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. If you are returning to my channel, then welcome back. And I'm glad that you are still here with me. Also, every Wednesday I go live, so come join me and a great bunch of peeps to do a look-in on all the zodiac signs as well as the random reading. So 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. So let's see what's uh, popping with you in March 2021. Hmm. Aquarius, did you find the one? Did you pick one out? <laughs> Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck. Maybe get the page of cups here. Now here's a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Could be an apology. Could be a compliment. But no matter what it is, it comes straight from the heart. So Aquarius, Let's get into this. We're going to start off with the King of Cups. Now here's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. King, Queen don't matter. It's an energy. You know, this person could have a poker face. They come off even keel, get their emotions all in check. They could be dying inside, but they never let you know it because they would never give you that satisfaction. But this is somebody who's very intuitive. Well composed. And what's crossing you to help or hinder they get the lovers. Now, here's that soulmate connection, Gemini card. A bond that's like no other here, Aquarius. A deep connection. So, Aquarius. If somebody's wearing a poker face, maybe you can't read them so well. They look like they're all that. <laughs> I'm sure they are. But for some reason, you're connected with this person because in your foundation, you get chemistry. Now the Two of Cups is that I get you card. You just work well together, mesh well together, finish each other's sentences. It could be a connection like no other that you've ever experienced, Aquarius. And what's crowning your reading is that you get the Three of Pentacles. Now here's being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts, being recognized for the great person that you are. This person could be putting a shine on you. You could be putting a shine on them. Because they're not just another face in the crowd to you, Aquarius. This person means something to you. Now this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. But this one is special. Now, in your recent past, you have the Page of Wands. Now, here's a message of putting something into motion. You know, getting the ball rolling. Taking action. You know, Aquarius, it very well could be, you know, if not you, them, that recognize these fine qualities in you. And approached you. They were going to let you get away. Aquarius. And going into your future, you have the fool. Now the fool is about the, you know, taking chances, taking a risk. You know, embarking on something new, lighthearted, charismatic. Not taking any of the old baggage with them. You ain't got time for that. This is about taking a leap of faith, Aquarius, and taking that chance. A chance on maybe this person being the one. Maybe. 
But how the situation views you, you see you as a moon. Maybe you're hiding something, Aquarius? Because the moon likes to hide things, lies, secrets, deception. But it's also about deep consciousness and intuition. It could be fear. Fear of the unknown. But I get the sense here, Aquarius, that if somebody here has a poker face and you can't read them, that maybe you're a little mysterious to them too. Maybe they don't know everything about you. If you let them, they will. And vice versa. But in your environment, you have the world card. And the world card is about tying up loose ends. You know, not taking anything with you once you close one door. Because you're ready to open up a new one. Start a new chapter. you got to make sure that the old stays in the rear view here, Aquarius. That when you close out those chapters, they're done. They're done ski. Because they have to be. If you have this great connection, you don't want anything from the past to compromise it. And in your hopes and in your fears, you get another major kind of, wow, get the hanged man. Now the hanged man feels stuck, not going forward, not going backwards. But he sees something from a different point of view, Aquarius, and that's what gets him unstuck. You know, maybe you are seeing something from a different point of view, seeing different attributes of someone that you admire, or them you. They see that there is something special about you, Aquarius, and they're intrigued. Who doesn't love a mystery? Old thoughts, old patterns, old way of doing things. Wrap them up. Because you're about to do something new. You're going to take that leap of faith. Take that chance, take that risk. Your outcome card, Aquarius. Look at you go. The magician. Booyah! Now the magician makes anything happen for himself. You get the number zero here, the beginning of the beginning, and number one. So... This person has all the tools in front of him to make anything happen for himself. Law of attraction. Better opportunities to come. So Aquarius, wheel your magic. Make those things happen. They'll figure that out in a long way. So won't you. But definitely something new Take that leap of faith, Aquarius, and work your magic. So that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesdays at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to come join me and my crew. So until then, take care.